Hey everyone, it's Tatiana, and today I'd love to chat with you about Amazon PPC automation and optimization. So Amazon PPC stands for pay per click advertising, by which Amazon enables us sellers to advertise on their platform and we don't pay until someone clicks on our listing. So it comes as no surprise that it is one of the number one marketing strategies. Um, most Amazon sellers are enrolled in Amazon advertising because it's gonna allow you to reach a much larger audience. Say you just launch your product on Amazon and you're on page 15, maybe page 20, maybe more of the search engine. And you know, just even as a customer, that most people, they're gonna look through page one, page two, max page three before they make their buying decision. And so if you're on page 15, the chances of getting seen are slim. And so if you can use Amazon advertising, that's gonna enable your listing to be viewed on page maybe one, uh, shown as a sponsored product. And that way you can reach a larger audience. And again, you don't pay for that ad until someone clicks it. And after they click it, then it's up to you to make sure that your listing is optimized so that that potential customer turns into a customer. And I've got other videos that talk about listing optimization and what to do there. So Amazon PPC, no doubt, is a great way to go about doing your business. Uh, you'll wanna have it turned on. The problem with it um, has nothing to do with the, the pro platform itself, with Amazon, it has to do with us, the users. Most of the time, us third-party sellers, uh, we have no idea what we're doing when it comes to Amazon PPC. And so that's when we can turn an otherwise profitable product into a money pit because PPC can get really expensive if you don't really know what you're doing and don't know how to optimize things. So you can manually uh, optimize things and manage your PPC, but if you're anything like me, you might have realized in your business uh, that it's important to recognize where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. And I've realized where my strengths are and they do not lie in PPC. And so I prefer to focus more of my time on the things that I'm really great at doing in my business and see how I can delegate the other aspects of my business. And so that's why you might like this uh, recommendation uh, for a software that's gonna help you with your Amazon PPC. It's called Celoso. Siloso is a fully automated advertising platform which will help you to lower your ACoS and increase your sales. So I'm gonna introduce you to Chris who is gonna show you around and show you how Siloso can help you with your Amazon advertising. But I do wanna mention that they offer a lot more than just Amazon advertising help. It's a full software with analytics and a whole bunch of good stuff, but we're focusing more on the Amazon advertising in this video today. Hey Chris, thank you so much for being here today. I'm excited uh, for you to show us around and show us how Solozo can help all the Amazon sellers who are watching today. Awesome, well thanks for having us. I'm excited to show you what we do um, and we'll just jump right into it. Yeah, for sure. I kind of want to show how easy it is to get started really. Uh, some tools out there, uh, it's a little bit more uh, you know, rule-based. We got to make all these rules up and, and, and add rules and stuff. So it gets kind of confusing. Uh, what makes us different on Solozo is basically you just select the campaign that you want us to optimize. And we've already got the algorithm built into the tool that once you turn it on, we just start optimizing your campaign the next day. You don't have to create rules. You don't have to do all this special algorithm thing and like make up your whole, you know, five clicks, do this, make a negative keyword after that. Like you don't have to do all that. Uh, the tool will do that for you automatically. So step one, select your campaigns. Step two is just turn on the Solozo optimizer. The only input that we need from the seller is just what your target ACoS is. Uh, ACoS, advertising cost of sale, um, that's a very common term. Um, so you just tell us what your ACoS goal is for that campaign, and then we will start optimizing it. And how do you know what's a reasonable ACoS to put in there? Good question. So we're going to import the last 60 days worth of your data. Um, and what we recommend doing is setting your target ACoS to pretty close to what your current ACoS is. Some sellers get this kind of mixed up and they'll, they'll have like an ACoS currently of like 60%. And then they'll come into Solozo and say, okay, my goal is 10, which would be amazing. But that big a difference can really hurt that campaign 
because what it's going to do is it's going to lower those bids on all those keywords. And you're going to lose a lot of traffic. So what I recommend doing, uh, what the team recommends doing, is set your target A cost to pretty close to what your current A cost is, and then you could stair step it down as that gets lower. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, so what does the algorithm do? How does it help the, you know, sales go up and help with the um, A cost? For sure. So what it does is it looks at the, the traffic that you're getting on your keywords. Uh, if, there's, if there's keywords that are not getting enough traffic uh, that you're bidding on, uh, it'll increase those bids daily to get you more traffic. Uh, but then on the flip side, if there's keywords you're getting a lot of traffic to, but it's not converting to sales, we'll then lower that bid because it's already been tested out and you're already getting traffic to that listing. If it's not getting any conversions, we don't want to continue to bid on it. We want to lower that bid now to make sure you still have a bid on it, but maybe at a better A cost goal, maybe in the middle of the page or the bottom of the page uh, to try to get you some more sales. Mm, okay. um, so it's, it's, it does both. Uh -huh. So you turn it on and then do, what do you do after that? You just leave it or you have to check on it? Yeah. What's the process? Good question. So during the import process, um, it'll, we ask uh, sellers to book a one-on-one -on -one private onboarding call with our support team. Uh, that is where we learn about your business and show you how to turn on the optimizer and show you how to get started with the automation. Hmm. The only real inputs we need is literally tell us what your target A cost goal is for each campaign. And then there's a switch inside, we can go and I'll show you this. There's a switch inside that you just turn on hmm. and that's it. Um, and so let me show you what that literally looks like. This is inside the app here. Um, and this over here on the left, you can see we got a lot of different tools inside here. The one I'm on is PPC manager. And this is where you control uh, which campaigns that you want to automate. Hmm. Um, so as I scroll down, you'll see these badges in the middle. Let's say Solozo Optimized. Those are campaigns that the, the software is automating daily for that seller. Um, hmm. And then these are sortable columns. But to get started with the optimizer, let's go to this campaign here that doesn't have the badge. Uh, all these ones that have the badge, these are the ones that were automated for the seller. Uh, he didn't start out this way. He may have only chose a few campaigns to start with. And then as those started to do better, perform better, he adds more uh, to the optimizer. Uh, but just to get started, you just click this little green button. And the next thing we need to know is just you click edit campaign. Mm -hmm. This is gonna bring up some inputs that we want. And this is the only input we need. Tell us what your target A cost is. So we got some in here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You could put a custom number in here. But it's this simple. Once you put, once you tell us your target A cost, you just turn on this switch. Now, if this campaign was on and not paused, if I hit apply changes here, the next day, the optimizer will go into this campaign. Any keyword that is higher than that target of 20%, it's going to lower that bid down to get you to that target of 20% that you wanted. Any keyword that is below the 20%, it's gonna raise it a little bit. And we have two different bid strategies for that. Uh, they're, they're here in the middle. There's a conservative approach and an aggressive approach. The difference between these two is the bid adjustments that happen on a daily basis. The conservative approach, it'll make 10% bid adjustments up or down daily. The aggressive does it in 15% increments daily. Um, so my personal preference is the conservative approach because you're testing a lot of different bid amounts mm. to find the best bid for that keyword. Whereas the aggressive, it's a wider range. So it could, it could miss, it can miss the best bid, but you could also get that higher bid that you want faster. So it's kind of a give and take. So you would do this for all of your, uh, manual campaigns and what about your automatic campaigns? Yeah, you could do automatic campaigns as well. Uh, what's really cool about the, what this we got going on here is if you're running just an automatic campaign and you don't have a manual campaign yet, let's say you just have an automatic, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, what Solosa will automate for you is it will create you a manual exact match campaign uh, automatically that'll be linked to your auto campaign. 
And that's going to feed your manual uh, those keywords that you convert on in your auto campaign. So, so why would you do this? This is if you have one campaign that's performing better than the other and you wanna move those keywords over? Yeah, this is more for like if you have uh, one product with a lot of different campaigns within it, like an auto, maybe you have a manual broad, a manual phrase, or a manual exact. Rather than you as the seller moving the keywords from one campaign to the next and then having to make the negatives, all you would need to do inside Solozo is link them together inside your campaign studio. Once you link them together, we then take care of all of the transfer keywords to those campaigns. And we also go back to the existing campaigns that the keyword came from, and it'll make it a negative exact in that campaign for you all automatically. So all that tedious process of downloading a search term report, taking those search terms, moving them to a broad, going back to the auto, making them a negative, all that is done with just a few clicks. This is definitely going to help automate um, people's campaigns and just help improve, um, improve their campaigns so that they're making more profit with their business. When I, when I click on this blue line here, all I need to tell the software is when a search term converts and then I choose how many times that I want the term to convert before it's moved to my broad match campaign. I just have to do that here. So maybe I do two times and click apply. Hmm. Now, maybe from my broad to my phrase, I change this to my phrase and I'll leave this as one because I've already tested it in my auto. Click apply and then from my phrase to my exact, I'll leave it just like it is. And so what's going to happen there is your auto campaign is going to find new search terms. Uh, Amazon's going to show your product up for new search terms. When your product gets a conversion on that search term, uh, after it converts two times, because that's what I said in here, mm. Solozo will take that term out of your search term report and it'll move it to your broad match campaign for you automatically. Mm, when, it con when it converts in your broad match, Solozo will not only move it to your phrase match, It'll also go back to your auto campaign and make that same term a negative exact in your auto campaign. So your auto campaign continue to find more keywords. You have this one-on-one -on -one setup call, which is actually very unique for, you know, most, most people who are any kind of tools that Amazon sellers are bought purchasing, any softwares or tools, um, usually doesn't include a one-on-one -on -one setup call. So how does that work? And will you be helping people to kind of set this up? Yeah, for sure. Uh, great question. So that one-on-one -on -one setup call, uh, it's, 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 a, it's in our basic approach here um, down here at the bottom. It's under our expert support. Um, and what that is, is somebody just like myself or on our support team is going to get on a screen share with you as a seller. Uh, and they're going to look through your data with you. They're going to show you how to link your campaigns up together, just like I've done here shortly. Uh, they're going to go through how to set your target A costs up. Uh, they're going to answer any questions you have about PPC they are going to be answered during that one-on-one -on -one call. If you have other questions, or if you need some more help, we have email support over here on the right side. Uh, we've done a lot of videos, uh, myself and another account and exec have done a lot of videos on YouTube where we're showing how all these uh, tools work. Uh, but getting in contact with our support team is super easy. Um, so that, that, that's included. Um, yeah, also on our, on our site, uh, it kind of makes a, uh, up here at the top where it says start your free trial, we, we keep it gated. So we don't just allow everybody just to sign up. Um, we do an onboarding call. We actually get a, a two onboarding calls, really. Uh, you would get a call with uh, myself or the other account exec, and we would go through Solozo way more in depth because um, I can get really stuck in this. <laughs> uh, we, we go through it more in depth and answer any questions you have. And if it's a fit, great. If, it, if not, maybe we taught you something about PPC that you can use in the future. That's awesome. You know, that, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I read all of the reviews about Soloso um, before getting on this call with you because that, that's what I always do whenever I share something on my channel. I want to make sure that I'm doing my research. And on Trustpilot, I can't even count how many positive reviews about just the one-on-one -on -one interaction that you guys provide for people and how you really do help them. If they have questions, you get back to them. You don't just leave them in the dark. And that's, I think, really unique um, 
with something like a tool like this for Amazon sellers. So I think people will really appreciate that because again, everyone knows the importance of uh, Amazon PPC, but it can be quite confusing for a lot of people. The tool alone is going to be very helpful, but the fact that you'll actually kind of show people how to use the, t the tool and set that up for them initially um, is going to be super, super helpful. So what other features um, does Solozo offer? Anything else that you can yeah. go through with us? Yeah, very cool. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, on the dashboard, uh, so every seller will get a dashboard. This is kind of like your home base, like uh, where you would start the day off, come in here and check out how my sales are doing. So we have this included. This is all included. Uh, so you're going to see things like sales, cost, profits, margins, total ACoS. I like to show this because this is super powerful now. Everybody's looking at total ACoS, so uh, that's a good feature. Um, and then on the right side, we break your sales down by either PPC sales or organic sales. So that's super helpful as well. Mm -hmm. Sellers wanna know like how are my ads performing? Well, we have that data and we show it here on the dashboard. So you can see organically how am I doing or how am I doing PPC wise? So well, this was a really great overview. Thank you so much, Chris. And um, sure. you know, for those of you guys watching, Chris has uh, offered us a great um, deal. If you guys are watching, you can get you know 14 days for free and then you can get 20% off of your first month of Soloso. If you sign up, you can go to tatianajames.com slash Soloso, S-E-L-L-O-Z-O. The link will be in the description box of the video as well. All right, great. Thanks again, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. So that's it. If you think that Soloso might be able to help you with your Amazon business, help you maybe have a little bit more peace of mind when it comes to your Amazon advertising, then you can do a 14 day free trial. Try it out. See if you like it. If you do, you can get 20% off your first month with my coupon code by going to tatianajames.com slash Soloso, or the link will be in the description of this video below. Thanks for watching guys. If you have questions about this, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer them and then I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.